Love is in the air as Ugandan entrepreneur sets Valentine mood with scented candles. Nigerian fashion business flourish as candidates woo voters in the run-up to the general election. Plus, Airbus gives airlines a big Valentine gift as it plans to stop making the world's largest passenger jet. Thank you for joining us and welcome to Business Incorporated. I'm Chimizi Obi Iwago. We will start off the show with the markets. And it seems investors at the Nigerian Stock Exchange has chosen to take profit just to celebrate the Valentine's Day. As at midday today, the index was down 0.14%. However, the case was not the same in South Africa, where the JSC index tilted to the green zone up 0.16%. Egypt was also up 0.38%. And in the Middle East, market sentiments uh, in the Gulf region were mixed at intraday. Qatar's index was down by a whopping 2.35%, while Saudi index was also down 0.29%. Over in Dubai, the index gained 1.65%. The Abu Dhabi index was also up 0.19%. And in Europe, stocks were higher in the morning amid a flurry of earnings results while market participants anxiously wait on any signs of progress in the latest round of U.S.-China trade talks. And, of course, a lot of corporate news on the wires. Well, let's talk to Orich. Good afternoon, Orich. Love is in the air. How are you showing love today, <laughs> Orich? Yeah, with uh, great respect, I uh, must say. <laughs> Hello to you. <laughs> All right, Orange. Well, it seems Airbus has decided to give the airlines a big Valentine gift by pulling the plug on the production of the Jumbo A380 plane after reporting a big jump in net profit for 2018. But this Valentine gift is not what passengers would want. What is the reaction in the market? How is the shares doing? Yeah, it's like a short declaration of love from the investors, if uh, you will, if you want to continue the Valentine uh, story, because uh, the Airbus share is going up by about 4.5%. Uh, the investors are welcoming this uh, message. Uh, you know, the musings on uh, whether the A380 would be uh, phased out, uh, the production uh, slowly coming to an end, uh, it's already... A about at least two years old when CEO Tom Enders first started uh, thinking about it and then being convinced, well, we sort of have to keep on plugging with this iconic uh, plane. But uh, it's made losses uh, all its life, uh, short life, if you will, for a plane of this kind. Uh, and uh, lately they've piled up for 2018. Airbus shows um, a loss on the A380 and the A400 military plane of together around $1 billion. That's a lot. Didn't prevent Airbus from uh, making a record profit, though. Uh, this year it made uh, about $3.4 billion in profits. After all, the other planes, uh, a lot of the uh, other planes are just uh, moving like hotcakes. And Germany's second biggest bank, the Commerce Bank, has made progress on the road to better profitability. Net profit 2018 was seven times as high as the year before. What contributed to that result there and what is there still left to do? Yeah, I think the Commerzbank uh, was uh, s saying that it's profiting from just in general more business and better business. So more interest uh, rate income taken in uh, from providing more loans and more higher loans and having more customers uh, to give them to. So this years long uh, strategy of building up presence, uh, acquiring customers through new and, and sometimes innovative uh, campaigns uh, seems to be paying off now. And uh, the Commerzbank uh, made about um, uh, 800 uh, million in, in profit in the last year and that's clearly more uh, than uh, what uh, the Deutsche Bank uh, made uh, in the last year. So uh, the number two in Germany, it's only in the MDAX as opposed to the top league DAX in which the Deutsche Bank is, is actually profit-wise uh, a long ways ahead of the Deutsche Bank. And 2018 was a roller coaster ride in the international market. Such turmoil is nerve-wracking for investors and many financial industry traders or asset managers. But... It drives up revenues and profits as stock market operators like Deutsche Bulls in Frankfurt. Results came in now. How do they look? 
Yeah, the uh, share is doing uh, great uh, from the Deutsche Börse. It's, uh, uh, no, it's actually it's not going great. It's going down by 1.6%. Um, the investors got a bit of a mixed message. The Deutsche Börse said that before special effects, one-time effects like severance pay uh, as part of the restructuring of, of, of the Börse, it made more profit uh, than in the year before, clearly more profit. But uh, when you have to factor in these, uh, these costs, which you actually do in order to get an honest balance sheet, uh, then it actually made less profit. And I think uh, investors were also missing uh, a bit more poignant uh, statements by CEO Theodore Weinmar uh, in his press conference, which he had here in the same building uh, that we're in here. Not right here down on the floor below me, but uh, a, few, a few meters over in a big uh, conference hall. And he wasn't that direct in, in what kind of uh, uh, takeover objects, for example, he was aiming at. Clear, it's clear, though, that he's not looking at another attempt at a transformative merger with another stock exchange, at least unless Deutsche Börse is in the driver's seat. All right, thank you very much um, for your time, Orich, and enjoy the rest of the day, and of course, Share some love.